Finally, after all this time, we're going to get another wrestling game by Ukes. Yes, not in the main series WWE 2K. We're going to get another professional wrestling game by Ukes, the company that works on the games and have been working on the WWE games for probably 20 years. What's up, everybody? Tony Beats Guy here back again with this video, and I'm so excited to bring you this because this is huge news today because we got a Big story coming out today about Ukes wanting to get into making more wrestling games. They're getting tired of the current format, and we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it because I've been saying this a lot. When there's only one person making the WWE games, there's no room for innovation, and things get stale, and that's where we're at currently. What I want to do is actually pull it over to this article, talk about the article, come back, finish it up, and see what they're going to do here. So let's go to the article. So here we go. WWE 2K Studios creating rival wrestling IP. Ukes hopes internal competition can invigorate, reinvigorate its developers. So veteran WWE 2K developer Ukes has established a new development team tasked with creating a rival wrestling IP. So again, 20 years, 70 million sales. Ukes is the wrestling game giant. We know them. The senior vice president and producer Futura. I don't know how to pronounce that. So I'm going to say Futura told VGC, which was video game chronicle. The studio's latest release W2K19 was widely considered to be a return to form for the series, but otherwise it has been criticized in recent years for a decline in quality. Futura confessed. That's the senior vice president and producer. Confessed, Ukes has become frustrated with what it has been able to do to achieve with recent WWE 2K games and suggest that its relationship with 2K Sports is partly responsible. Another contri contributing factor is the lack of competition in the wrestling genre, she said. Ukes' historically rival, No Mercy developer AKI, effectively left the genre after Def Jam Fight for New York, the takeover. I think having competition isn't I think having no competition isn't healthy at all like I've been saying. When there's no, when we had competition in the wrestling space we were determined not to lose and that was a great motivator for creating something great. But right now looking at the market demands players are expecting something new every year. Okay, let me let me let me back this up. But right now looking at the market demand players are expecting something new every time we release a game and we feel like we haven't achieved what we really wanted to do. For example, in many cases we're still using old assets and we're not able to do some things in the way that we want to do. Futura went on to say the studio may find a way to do things in a way that we want in terms of our existing relationships with our publisher. However, for the time being, its solution is to create its own rival IP. We are trying to launch a new wrestling game. Round of applause. Can we can we can we get can we can we can we can we get a round of applause? Do I have one? I don't know. Let's let's go with air horn. There you go. That'll be good enough for us right now. We're trying to launch a new game. Of course, we'll remain we will retain the WWE team, but we're also aware that our creators are beginning to lose sight of their passion and confidence and becoming focused on only completing assigned tasks. That's not the direction Ukes wants to go in. So in order to compensate, we are going to start a new wrestling project. Futura said the unnamed project is a very early stage and Ukes has ideas for the new game system. It thinks will result in interesting game. Ukes is still deciding on who to target for the audience for the game will be, but Futura said, so it's possible that it could go a very realistic direction or introduce fantasy elements. We're not chasing money or trends. Can we get another air horn there? We'll go in whatever direction we feel is most interesting combined with the passion of whoever leads the project. As long as whoever leads the project has enough passion, then I'm sure we'll achieve our goal. In the terms of wrestling project, there are many experienced creators here in the field. I'm confident it's going to be an awesome game. They said that they're going to continue its long-running association with the 2K series. It's a project dear to our hearts and even becomes sort of a veteran creator's lives, she said. We have a huge history in making these games and still have a good relationship with 2K. However, WWE would never allow us to stop making these games. However, the new project we have in mind will be the internal 
competition for WWE. We are aware that our creators are beginning to lose sight of their passion, confidence, and becoming focused on completing those tasks. So that's it. Uh, they have AR technology that they might use for this feature, uh, their coming game, maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, and they could save tons of money. We spent many years analyzing how human body m moves and how to animate it. And it's no wonder our research has evolved into the AR space. For example, uh, we could save tons of money required for renting and motion capture studio, hiring actors from producing standpoint. This system could save a lot of man months. So they're good. WWE, for WWE, for example, the motion capture is created with wrestlers, actors, and then the data is cleaned up by mocap studio before it's sent out to artists. With this zero technology, Alice, a I guess we're going to call it Alice Zero, the data is created on the spot along with the motion capture and submitted immediately. The new system does not require anyone to edit or process the data. It immediately creates the data that can be implemented directly into the game. So yes, it can save a lot of man hours and a lot of time overall. We're confident that this is a huge breakthrough. So there, unfortunately... This specific technology has not been adapted yet for WWE. Ukes ultimately defers to 2K, and they are the publisher, and they have the final call. However, I believe it will drastically change the efficiency of development. We would like to use it. So uh, then the players could battle each other in live via AR space or real audience watching. I think its competition element could be done with our technology and know-how. So there you go. That's the article. Let's talk about what they're going to do. So what have we learned from this? They are sick and tired of just completing tasks. What it seems like is that 2K just sends them a list of what they need to complete. They complete it and there's no real passion here. When Ukes was the head of the studio, they were pushing the envelope. They were doing the things that they thought would be good for the games and doing that. But now with 2K taking over the license, it's kind of just been like 2K just says, here's what you do. They do the tasks and they're done. That's it. That's all that they're doing. They're just completing tasks over and over and over. And then they don't want to do that. So what they're going to do is they're going to use some of their AR technology, which would be really, really awesome because when you motion capture, you got to process it, do all that stuff. And now they're going to have it right away to be able to do that. And it's cool that they see that internal struggle because I feel on the outside and maybe being a part of the 2K games community, it's just been like one of those things where it's like, ah, I don't know. Being a part of the wrestling games community, I guess I should say, it's been kind of like, ah, I don't know. It just feels like something's off about, it. you know, it's like there's elements and there's good things about it. And then there's other things that I'm like, ah, why do they do this choice? I don't understand this choice where that's, that's where this wrestling game is, where it's kind of like, I feel like what is kind of happening? I see this internal struggle. I don't know if this is true. Let me just say that. I don't know if this is true, but I'm seeing this internal struggle, right? I think what is going on is that 2K kind of wants to take over the entire license of the game and they kind of want to make it internally. That's kind of where I see it, right? 2K wants to do their thing. And then Ux is out here. Well, they have a multi, you know, long-term standing agreement with WWE and they want to do their things, but it's up to 2K who has the final say. So it's kind of like this internal struggle where it's like one side wants to do one thing, one side wants to push the envelope and 2K is just kind of like, uh, I don't know. Here's the problem, right? Like I said before, there is no competition. We have this yearly game banged out over and over and over and over and over. And there's only so much you can do in a year, right? You're trying to bang out a brand new game every year. And I think with this new pro wrestling company coming together out of Ukes, like this whole new division, I, that's the word, the, the division of the new wrestling game. That's what I'm looking for. This whole new division coming together. I feel like we're finally going to get what we should be getting is like a very good polished game that can be updated over time. That's always what I've wanted. I don't think we need to have these yearly releases of the games, right? I've always said, why don't we get a bear game, a bear wrestling game that's like, okay, here's what you got. Then they continue to give you updates and content throughout the years. They give you even a season pass, battle pass, whatever it may be, just introducing new content, changing the way the game plays, doing all kinds of new stuff. Again, you see the format working in many, many game developers. I think when you talk about the way the game industry has changed, uh, it used to be that thing with like the Call of Duties, right? There'd be a new one that would come out every year, every other year, and then it'd just be like the same kind of thing. Okay, here's the game, here's the DLC, there you go. Next year, here's the game, here's the DLC, there you go. 2K's gone in the same thing, or the WB games. Okay, here's your game, here's the DLC, let's go. 
That's not the way that game development works anymore. What is happening now? If you see it with Apex Legends, you see it with Fortnite, you see it with a bunch of other games, not even that they're free to play, that would be a nice model. But the feature that I'm talking about is the fact that you're getting a game and they're continuing to evolve that game. They make a really good game and then they continue to evolve it as time goes on. They don't just release a game, DLC, game's done. No, this same game is just continuing to get better over time. Maybe sometimes it gets worse, but it just gets better and better and they keep doing these updates to it. And I think that's the way the game industry goes is because people want a game like... I know that what what the what the main focus is right is like okay we got to get that sixty dollar tag out there we got to get people to buy that that's how we make our money I think it's content I think content 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 is the way to go I think you push out that that core game whether it's free or not and then after that you can put out a ton of content and that's where you make all that extra money if you look at even games like Supercard they just push out a ton of content it's a free game but content keeps coming out so you're constantly getting people to spend their money on that. And I think that's a model that WWE Games is not doing. So hopefully Ukes can do something like that with their game. They can use this AR technology. If it's super fast, like they say it is, could you imagine how fast they could add new moves, move motion cap into the game? Hey, somebody has a new finisher. Let's go cap it. Boom. It's in the game like within a week. Could you imagine that happening? It could happen. It could happen. It could happen. So I want to see where this goes, what Ukes is going to do. And hopefully we will have something really, really great with should be a competition. Maybe 2K will see this and be like, yo, we want to implement some of this into our game. Or maybe they'll just kind of not and we'll have like this Ukes really good wrestling game. But I'm excited. I want to know your guys' thoughts. Let me know what you think. Are you excited about Ukes doing this? Do you see that internal struggle like I do? And what are your final thoughts on all of this in the professional wrestling game genre? As always, I'm Tony Beats Guy. We will see you 